introduced a very robust and comprehensive voting rights uh, bill in this last legislative session. Uh, this bill included a pre-clearance provision, which would allow for uh, people to have protections under the Voting Rights Act uh, that we lost in a most recent Supreme Court case. Uh, it also allows for early voting. It's uh, online voter registration. It's same-day voting. It allows for 16 and 17-year-olds to have the ability to vote. Uh, it's automated voting, so when you show up at either state or city uh, agencies, you have the ability to register to vote at that point. We think that, uh, well, I, I believe that um, our New York State voter, uh, our New York State election laws are very archaic, um, and this is the type of progressive legislation that we need to move forward to bring our state into the 21st century. understand that uh, interest in politics, particularly in the community that I represent, is at an all-time low. Uh, but we have been doing some outstanding things in terms of including the everyday, average constituent into the electoral process. For instance, every third Saturday of the month, I have a district-wide community advisory board where we engage and we speak to constituents, community leaders, stakeholders, small business owners, tenant association presidents, clergy members, to talk about the issues that affect uh, just the everyday lives of the individuals that I represent. They come to me with ideas for legislation. They give me new ideas in terms of things that I need to be fighting for in terms of funding. For instance, one of the ways that we were able to mobilize uh, our constituent voices is there was through the Brownsville Houses Tenant Association, which is a NYCHA tenant association. We knew that they had no heat, there was no hot water in the development for many, many years. I was able to get $1.7 million through those asks in order to provide a new boiler for this NYCHA development. We understand that politics is not a spectator sport, and through this level of engagement is how we give a voice to a once voiceless community. And I'm excited about it, and it's something that we'll continue to pursue um, over the course of, our, of my next term. understand that uh, the communities that I represent, which includes Brownsville, Ocean Hill, East New York, East Flatbush, Bedside, we have the, uh, a stark number of uh, health care disparities with high incidences of high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, uh, infant mortality rates are, are sort of through the roof. And we know that our health care quality is not what it needs to be. And so that incited my fight to go up and get $700 million to improve the health care delivery system of Central Brooklyn. Uh, through that, we are envisioning new uh, urgent care facilities, also emergency room improvements, so that we are able to address these health care disparities head on. Uh, also, uh, gun violence is the public health issue of my community, right? And it's one of the most uh, rampant opportunities for someone to visit the emergency room. And while we recognize that all of those things are very important, this $700 million will also include job opportunities. There are going to be new people to build out new facilities. They're going to need new nurses, new support staff. So in addition to improving the health care quality of the neighborhoods that I represent, we're also providing a robust economic development plan at the same time.